Mofongo. And fun to say Mofongo too. <laughs> I'm terrible at remember things. I've never forget the Mofongo. Just don't walk up to somebody on the street and go, Mofongo. <laughs> you, you'll probably get beat up. Don't do that. Why? What's a bad word? No. It, but if they don't know what it means, it certainly sounds like a bad word. <laughs> So Young and I are at La Isla restaurant in La Palma, which is the northern part of Orange County. La Isla is a Caribbean style restaurant. They have a lot of Cuban dishes. They also have um, uh, mofongo, which is a Puerto Rican dish. Uh, it's kind of like the national dish of Puerto Rico. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna get a mofongo. I think Young's gonna get a ropa vieja, which is a Cuban dish. We're getting an empanada, and I love plantains, so we're definitely getting a side order of plantains. We're gonna try it. Also, Young has decided she's getting herself a nice drink. It's uh, a drink called a matatan. Matata. Matata or matatan matata, or something. Mat uh, mata, matatan. 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 A matatan is? Coconut rum, uh -huh. vigor, fresh pineapple. So it's a little bit like an upscale pina colada. It should be interesting. She loves pina coladas, so she should like this. I'm the designated driver. I got myself an iced tea. I will tell you their iced teas are a little sweet, but it's okay. I can live with it. Yeah. It's a good thing. forward to this meal. Should be fun. I've already ordered the empanadas. We're going to start out with the beef empanada yeah. and then we're going to go on beyond that. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. The restaurant is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they have a really, really good review. It, it has a real Latino vibe. We look at this place and it could be somewhere in the middle of Havana or it could be somewhere yeah. in, uh, in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. It could be any place. I mean, the, the Decor is really kind of classic yeah. um, of the old style mm -hmm. Caribbean Latino area. They also have some Peruvian dishes here um, mm -hmm. and our waitress actually recommended the lomo saltado which is a uh, Peruvian pork dish, but we're not gonna get that today because we're not in the mood for it. Yeah. But uh, I mean, if the restaurant is as good as everyone says and it's the, the people here are very nice, yeah. we'll be back. People are also very beautiful here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Man, that is pretty. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Is that a fried pineapple on top? Yeah. Are you ready to put some food in? Yeah, I think so. You want the vaca frita? Or, or no, no, not the vaca frita. You want the ropa vieja, right? Ropa vieja? Yeah. yeah. And I will, I will try the garlic shrimp mofongo. Well, it depends on the culture. Mm -hmm. In Cuba, they usually call them moros, moros. which is a oh, mixed yeah. rice and beans. That's why she asked, would you like to uh, moros? So well, I no, she didn't ask you. Here, they're not calling it moros. They're calling it uh, congri, congri, which is a mix of things. Oh, okay. And that's probably more of a uh, other Latino name for it. But in Cuba, they call it moros. So we got our empanadas. Smells even better than it looks. It's come with two sauces, and uh, one's a green, one's a red. I have no idea what they are, but it should be interesting. That is a really good empanada. The, there's a lot of cumin in the meat, so you can taste the cumin. It's got onions in it. Really good. The, the fried uh, crust is very crispy. The sauce I dipped it in is like a cilantro olive sauce. It's got a nice tangy sour flavor. I'm gonna risk the, the habanero sauce that Young says is not very spicy. I'm sure it is, but we'll try it.
This time Young's right, it's not very spicy. It's good, it's tasty. I like the green sauce better. Um, I'm gonna start digging into this and give Young an opportunity to start having some too. Very sour, but very tasty. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's Am smoky to, too. Um, yes. Mm. Am I supposed to put this thing in the... You don't have to. No, you lick it and then you drink. Oh, lick it. You know what? That's got habanero in it. It's spicy. Oh, this is like a... Pineapple. Oh, what's going on? What? Oh, no. Hi. Save one for you. These what? empanadas are delicious, by the way. I really like it. So I was going to tell you about this. It's very pretty, but it's like a wrap. It's not... Uh, I think it's... Uh, it's uh, for decoration. It's not for, to eat. For decoration. Try this one? Yeah. You should also try it with their mojo sauce. Okay. This is habanero sauce. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be right? Mm. You taste the cumin, you taste the onion. Mm -hmm. The crispy shell is really good. Uh, try it Try it also with the mojo sauce because that gives it another dimension. You get the olives and the cilantro and the sour orange in there. The inside of the, uh, the meat yes. is very uh, moist. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. Right? Better that way. This is spicier than habanero. <laughs> It's not that spicy. Mm -hmm. it, it's a mojo sauce, so it's more sour it's very, than spicy. Very spicy. It's very good. I don't know. It's we good. Some, uh, green Could be. I think. That's definitely my favorite sauce. Aliyah, our waitress, it told me she could bring me some more mojo sauce with the mm -hmm. mofongo, so I'm going to get some. Oh my god. This green sauce, just amazing. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. I'm talking to the mic because the music is so loud. The music is on. Mm -hmm. Yes, while we were sitting here, they turned the music up a little bit. I think they didn't think it was loud enough, so mm. whatever. It's okay, it gives it a sort of a festive atmosphere. Do a rumba. Oh, that looks like a nice rope of vieja. Yeah, it's pretty. This is all really pretty. I think, I think we're good for now. What do you think, Young? That's it? Yeah. A little, a little more mojo. So, before I start everything, I just wanted to tell you, see, I've been really enjoying this one in the year. It's, it's some kind of tamarind and habanero mm -hmm. combination, so it's a little spicy, it's a little tangy. It really adds to the drink, which is very sweet. It's got the coconut rum, the pineapple. It's so good together. Their, their food so far has been good, and we got our main courses, and they've obviously put a lot of thought into the look of it. This mofongo is just beautiful. And, and your ropa vieja, the way it's arranged on the plate, is really pretty. I will tell you, a mofongo is basically made with green plantains. They mash them up into a little ball, they have what they call mofongo relleno, which means filled mofongo, and they will put like shrimp or beef or something inside the plantains, uh, and then they cover it with rice on the outside, and they include not only plantains, but rice, and also chicharrones, which are fried pork skin. They mix it up all together. National dish of Puerto Rico. You can find it in the Dominican Republic as well, but uh, the Puerto Rican is the original. And this is smelling good. I can smell the garlic shrimp in here. I'm really looking forward to trying it. That is delicious. It's garlicky. It's got the shrimp flavor. A really, really nice dish. And of course, Aliyah brought us some extra mojo sauce, so I'm gonna try with the mojo sauce. It's got sour orange, mm -hmm. it's got a little bit of jalapeno, it's mm -hmm. got cilantro mm -hmm. in it, 
It's tangy. Mm -hmm. It's slightly spicy. It's got that herbal note from the cilantro. Mm -hmm. It's a good mojo. Mm -hmm. mm. And of course, I never go wrong with sweet plantains, which they call maduros in Cuba. So I'm enjoying the maduros. Mm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. The chef here loves cumin, I can tell, because there's cumin in everything. The Rapa Vieja has more cumin than I'm used to. It's still delicious. Mm. Actually, we need a little bit more garlic salt. A little more what? Garlic salt. Oh, the, the, you use some mo mojo for that. majorly garlicky, really good. We were in New York at a restaurant called Habana there, which is a Caribbean restaurant. And oh, no. Young and David, my friend David, uh, we were there for a, a nice, pleasant trip. No. We ordered we ordered a mofongo there. And Young had never had a mofongo that she liked before. But she tried that and she was, just fell in love with it. And she started eating it. And David tried it and he started eating it. And the two of them went to war over it. And they were both like eating, <laughs> sticking forks in, eating really quick. And finally Young turned to David and she said, stop, slow down, you're eating it all. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when, she, <laughs> yeah, that's when she realized she liked mofongo. And this is a, as good a mofongo as I found in Southern California. And this has the nice crunch from the chicharrones. This is really good. Ropa vieja, Ropa vieja Ropa means, vieja. means old clothes. I'm going to add some more sauce on um, Ropa vieja. There's more sauce. Oh, so just type of. Mm -hmm. So good. I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> On guard. Don't touch my mofongo. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I tried to make a mofongo. It was very difficult. A lot of steps. Worse than cooking Korean food. A lot of steps. Cook several steps, steps, steps. That's how you appreciate mofongo. Cuban food. More. Cuban yes. food, as a general rule, has a lot of steps in everything they make. Mm. These plantains, you would think they're simple. You slice them, you fry mm -hmm. them. No. No, you gotta like it mash them down, you gotta soak them in lye, mm -hmm. you got, there's so much, so many steps, there's like seven or eight steps just to get a really good Maduro, and their Maduros are very good here. Okay, so we found another good mm -hmm. Caribbean restaurant here. Mm -hmm. This place is so good. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend try this. What's the main main time? Mm. Matatan. Matatan. And the tea tastes like iced tea. Now, we do have some restaurants here in Orange County that taste good, and we expect them to taste good. Mm -hmm. But it's very rare to find a really good mofongo down here. Finding a good Italian restaurant is difficult. Mexican restaurants here, there are a lot of good Mexican restaurants. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try some habanero sauce. Okay. This is really um, not really spicy. But it's still tasty, even though it's not spicy. I will actually echo Young's comments here because you can't trust her if she says something's not spicy. But I tasted that sauce and it's not spicy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. Really good. We're really happy with this. Delicious. You guys want any extra sauce on this? Um, Are you going to have the garlic sauce? Yeah, yeah. we have. Oh. oh. 
Um, I've no, still got some moho, I think, a little bit. Mm, this is the sunflower red thing. Okay. Did you want? I, I'd like some moho. I'd yeah? like to try the moho. Okay. Yes, oh thank you. God. Oh my God, look at this. She brought this one. The garlic. Oh yeah. This is the bomb. Okay, you can't put too much garlic on it for me, so if you want to put more oh. on mine, that's fine. Okay, I want to do it in moho. Tippy here. Mmm, telling you this different. Here, give me a little. Just dip it in here. I dip it. Garlic. Garlic fondue. Garlic fondue. Mmm. Mmm. It's going to be a moho. Oh, great. Thank you. You got good anything else? Yeah, More everything is good. Thank you so much. I think, no, this is fine as is. Yeah, this is really good. Everything's good. Yeah, everything is good. Oh, more sauce is the best. Okay, this is the moho sauce. Mm. They have onion pieces in the moho sauce. And it's nice and tangy and delicious. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, that's so good. Sour, mm -hmm. garlicky, oniony. Wow. Very good. This mousse is just a die for. It's amazing. Mmm. All their mm. sauces are good here. Yeah, a good mofongo is made with green plantains. Mm -hmm. This is green plantains. It's really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Fun to say mofongo, too. Just don't walk up to somebody on the street and go, mofongo! <laughs> you, you'll probably get beat up. <laughs> don't do that. Why? <laughs> What's a bad word? No. Yeah. It, but if they don't know what it means, it certainly sounds like a bad word. <laughs> oh, delicious. I see you guys have a tres leches cake. Is that good here? Um, it's one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> I think I want to get tres leches and a cordito. So everything here is just really good. We we can definitely recommend this place very highly. Uh, I noticed they have a tres leches cake on their dessert menu, and so I will suffer for you people out there and get that tres leches cake and try it. It's actually one of my favorite desserts, especially when I'm in some kind of a Latino restaurant. I love tres leches. If they have it, I'll usually get it. Uh, also, I got what's called the cordito, which is a uh, Cuban coffee, which is really strong with steamed milk. So I guess it's a lot like a cafe latte. So um, I'm looking forward to trying that. I love a good tres leches cake because it's usually tasty and juicy and creamy. <laughs> tasty. This is actually just a sweet, very neutral cake. It's good. I've had tres leches that have more fruit in them. This this has some strawberries on the top. It doesn't have fruit in it. Um, doesn't have lemon flavors or anything like that. It's just, it's cake. They, they, tres leches means three milks. They'll usually put uh, sweetened condensed milk in it, uh, cream, regular cream, and then they put some whipped cream on the top. And those are the three milks that they put in a tres leches cake. This is a good standard version. It's nothing spectacular or anything, but it's a really good tres leches. I mean, for me, I just don't like the wet cake. Mm. This texture is weird. So. And you know what that's called? More for me. <laughs> so this restaurant is a really good restaurant in the middle of a nondescript parking lot in the middle of La Palma, California. Not someplace you would normally think to come for really good Caribbean style food. But I will tell you that meal we just had was spectacular. It was a delicious meal, probably the best Caribbean style food we've had in Orange County or LA. 
Uh, and definitely we're coming back. I, I want to come back. I want to try the lechon. I want to try the garlic chicken. I want to try the lomo saltado. We want to try the uh, yucca here and all the different Caribbean specialties that they have that we just couldn't all fit in in one, one sitting. But we will be back. You should too.